Hello, we are here with uh, Verle. We experimented with uh, the wetsuit at 30 meters with a normal BCD in a normal tank. Just like a recreational dive, as maybe millions of divers dive all over the world. And the weight belt with 6 kilos. We did a uh, buoyancy check at the surface with Verle and it, uh, we determined that 6 kilos was, uh, was the good weight for her and then we went diving. And what happened then with Verle? Well, we went down to about 27 meters and I really had to inflate a lot, a lot and a lot. And then um, at uh, 27 meters we <laughs> yeah we at 27 meters we simulated that her yeah, BCD yeah. was gonna fail yeah so she dumped all the air out of her BCD to simulate that the BCD would no longer hold air and you tried to swim up yeah what did you find well that was really scary for me I really couldn't swim it up it was just impossible I was kicking and kicking and kicking and I started breathing a lot and it was just not possible and then I realized it was it was really a, it could be a dangerous situation yep and it's exactly why we illustrate on the balanced rig presentation that we consider diving deeper than 18 meters in a thick wetsuit like Verla was wearing it was a seven millimeter wetsuit with a five millimeter shorty on top to cover with the six degrees of water temperature we have here at 30 meters and it wasn't even enough to keep her warm because the wetsuit was compressed so much yeah. that it didn't isolate her anymore so the only problem it gave her was the buoyancy problem because she had so much weight to get down in the surface that she needed there and then afterwards we took the weight belt off and, and then what happened? Well, I could swim up without a problem. I took a breath and I could start kicking and my buoyancy was it's quite good so in fact at that I don't need a weight belt no you were basically six without. kilos overweight yeah. at, at, at 28 27 yeah. meters I only need the weight belt a little bit to go down in the beginning of the dive but as soon as the, the neoprene starts compressing the weight belt is not, not, not necessary. necessary anymore so what do you think would have happened if you just dropped the weight belt in a real emergency and ascended on the dive yeah, then I, then I could ascend, but probably when the neoprene starts uh, working again and starts uh, getting expanding, yeah. starts expanding, then I would probably pop up yeah. to the surface. So then it could have been another dangerous situation. Exactly. So we, are, um, we hope that this little video would help you realize that diving deep in cold waters where you need a thick wetsuit might not be the best idea. So maybe think about diving in a dry suit when you dive deeper than let's say 18 meters. Next time I dive my dry suit again. <laughs>
years ago and remember it's only six kilos so it doesn't sound as much um, I know there's a lot of divers out there who's di who are diving with a lot more weight than that and here we go as you can see she can get off the, s off the bottom but she has to keep kicking so she can get up but what do you think will happen when she reaches a shallower depth and the suit regains its buoyancy look for more information on the video about balance trick